Okay, welcome back. Um, I did not want to leave you hanging on the conclusion of what happens after the initiation ceremony. So I um, have um, just gone ahead and continued on uh, with the Let's Play. We are playing Wages of War, Cluster Glory 3. And um, if you've been following, I assume you know that we have just won the initiation ceremony. We have to ask what we want. And uh, actually, just a tidbit, if you do lose to Yasufu, you get fewer points, but he actually asks the drum on your behalf. Um, I think as long as you behaved honorably to him. Um, in any event, let's um, uh, play and uh, see what happens. Alright, so he calls us a warrior. Um, we're the winner. And we can ask what we desire. And I'm going to ask Kali. I tried this beforehand. I actually asked just for a drum directly. Well, we can thank the Laban. And ask for a conference. Alright. So he is now willing to come to the conference and he also gives us the drum outright. So that's pretty much... I think you might actually be able to talk to Yusufu. I just don't want to go back in there and try that again. I don't think there's too much information. Um, and we got what we wanted. Um, I think hopefully our honor has gone up considerably though we just don't seem to have the paladin slash honor points. Yeah, they've gone up, um, I'm not really sure what it is, um, to get us to the next step where we can detect danger. I, I very much recall having that by now, um, and I, ho I hope we get that and certainly get to see the honor shield, because actually I think it looks the best in this game versus maybe the other two uh, later ones. I can't remember Quest for Glory 5 that well. Alright, so Yasufu says she's looking pretty well. She's looking pretty good, um, I guess he's still a warrior, even though he lost, so he, um, Uh, he he wants he probably wants to still trade her as a bride, um, and he's telling how the Laban set it, the price high. So she. So I guess she's a bit of a feminist too, and um, but she also doesn't like um, either of us too well. In any event. Um, I think we can go talk to Laban now, and we are going to, um, see if we can buy a bride. And we will agree. And he's more receptive to that these days. Okay, and... See if there's anything else. I think we already asked all these things, so let's just go ahead and pay the bride price. I think it's five of these and the spear death. Okay, so he is not too interested for some reason. That is interesting, actually. We have five, we have the spear death, and we have and we have the robe. Oh, pardon me. And we have the robe, which is the bread price, so... I am confused... as to why he is not accepting that at this point. I guess if you... is high. I want the husband to value her. Uh, price is one fine robe, one fine spear, and five zebra skins, which they just so happen to sell at the bazaar in uh, Tarna. But we have, so we have done that. Alright, so... For whatever reason, we can't buy her now. I don't know why that is. Um, we don't want that, but... Okay, so we will say goodbye. And... Well, we just did. Well, maybe we can... Maybe we have to have that conversation first. I don't know. That does seem a little weird. Let's see if he'll let us in. This time. All right, so it looks like we get to go in again. And we'll see if um, if we can pay the price. Okay, so that's weird. They made us go in and out, but okay. All right, she is now our wife. I can thank him. Oh, that's just against being the warrior. Okay, so let's go out there, and we actually have to. 
see if we can uh, become more friendly with her. Alright, so we can't really talk to her too much, but we actually do have some things that she will be interested in. This little carving of a leopard. That's one. And apparently she has heard already that she is the wife, even though we didn't really tell her. And she still ignores us, so we have that. So we give it a leopard, then these fine beads that we couldn't bargain for. And I don't, and I believe we still have the same problem. And she's still not interested. And we will give her the dagger, which is kind of weird. She says she might use it on us, but uh, kind of weird that the guard would actually let us hand over a dagger to her, or why we would do that. But that's one of the things she gives to her. And then. And then we release her. Uh, I'm sorry for the brief pause I just saved. And she runs off. And I don't think you can do it unless this guy is here. And the guard says something, but we don't think it's flattering. Something along the lines of us not being too bright. As you can see, after you play that first round with Yasufu, there's not too many opportunities um, to play that again. And that's fine by my... Um, for me, at least. Let's see if the Laban will see us again. Okay, so he bars the way. That's not a good time to visit him. Um, I'm not going to save it again. We just did it. So what we have to do now is we have to go out and find the Leopard Man's village. And... What we have to do is find the Leopard Woman. And I guess we can go out and try to see if we can pick the finder and save it there. And then our actual journey to Lepperman Village will be, um, let's see. Okay, so it's just, we can ask them things about the initiation, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, just because I said we weren't going to uh, spend too much time on any of the dialogue trees, particularly since I'm not doing any of the voices. Uh, so we're just, yeah, we're going to go out and see if we can find her. Ugh. Hopefully in the jungle, and then uh, she does take us to Lepperman Village, and we end up um, uh, going there, and we actually don't have that much to do as a as a paladin. Some of the other characters, we get the initiation, some of the other characters, I guess, get to have a little bit more of uh, an evolved scene at the uh, Lepperman's village. So... I regret that we haven't gotten too many of um, honor points recently, or too many paladin points are enough to get us to at least third skill. And hopefully, she'll she'll run into us. Okay, so we have to go through a few of these things, which is kind of silly, but that's how the game sets it up. That we feel like we're being watched and feel like we're being followed. I feel someone's stalking you. And eventually, so whoever it was lost interest. And I think you have to find another screen and she'll eventually pop up. Okay. And I just want to... Alright, so that's weird. And I think it's always in this area. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I hope I didn't uh, foul that up. If not, uh, I probably have to keep this tape just because we went through all that. So it would be kind of embarrassing if to stop here and uh, restore <laughs> for the next part. I would think the game would give you a second chance to have her run into you, but... Okay, so I think we should just call out. I guess I forgot. Okay. So good thing we're not a hunter. And good thing we did that right before we were out of time. So we are going to close up shop and... 
Okay, we'll just go through a dialogue, pretty much telling Gus that she can't, we can't buy her, not surprisingly. Uh, but we're going to have to find out some more from her, but that's going to wait for next time, so we'll see you then.